Well, at this point, you are probably on the lookout for ticks carrying diseases in the summer. However, adult deer ticks are most active in the fall. Experts say the parasites carry more pathogens that cause Lyme and other diseases like the Powassan virus. Powassan can be deadly in one in 10 people and can be spread in as little as 15 minutes after a bite. Well, researchers right here in Maine are now trying to determine which animal species are helping spread the tick-borne infection. News Center Maine's Vivian Lee explains from Cape Elizabeth. Scientists initially thought the Powassan virus was transmitted by deer ticks on white-footed mice, the primary carrier of the bacteria that causes Lyme disease. So we can't find Powassan virus in white-footed mice ever. We haven't found it yet, so wow. we're looking at other animals. Research scientist Rebecca Robish leads a team from the Maine Health Institute of Research. They're trying to figure out if other small species like shrews and voles are helping spread yeah, the virus. So, like, Field biologist Molly Meager and research assistant Curtis Bartiromo check a vole pulled from one of dozens of traps put out by researchers after the animal is weighed and measured. She then checks for ticks. I tend to look for ticks around the ears around the whiskers and around the jaw. Um, sometimes I'll also look around the eyes and we carefully pull them off if there are ticks. Ticks found on the animals will be tested for Powassan and other diseases. Researchers also take tissue samples to test for the virus and other pathogens. Each species is also tagged in the ear. So if the animal were to be um, like clean from the diseases we look for, and then get it at a later point, we would be able to tell that by having the tag number. While Powassan is rarer than Lyme, cases are on the rise in Maine. Unlike Lyme disease, it can be fatal and can leave those who survive with long-term neurological problems. Furthermore, a tick must be attached for 24 to 48 hours to transmit the bacteria that causes Lyme, but that's not the case with Powassan. Powassan virus lives in the salivary glands of the ticks. So those adult ticks that get on you in the fall, and you might, you might see them within a day, but they can transmit the virus very rapidly within 15 minutes of attachment. Researchers also look for ticks in areas with native and invasive plants, such as the Japanese barberry. Robish says ticks on animals near these plants may have a greater chance of carrying Powassan. Great habitat for small mammals. They're protected, they've got the thorns, the bigger animals can't get to them. It's higher humidity, so the, the ticks love it. Scientists also believe the virus in Maine is transmitted primarily by deer ticks, not infected woodchuck ticks. The team's findings are expected to be released within the next six months to help Mainers understand how to better protect themselves and their pets. In Cape Elizabeth, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. And according to the Maine CDC, there have been three cases of Powassan virus so far this year. One resulted in the May death of a York County man.